good morning to everyone here at the White Page Leadership Conclave. And uh, congratulations to the organizers for getting together such an esteemed group of business persons, entrepreneurs, who are thinking and working on the future of the Indian economy. I'm here today, apart from I think for giving the awards, to share some of our own thoughts, my thoughts, and the work that we've been doing in Delhi government on entrepreneurship especially. Why entrepreneurship? I think that that is a question that while many of you don't need the answer for that question, but this is definitely a question that uh, the country is asking that why is it that we often talk about entrepreneurship the work workforce? By 2030, we would need to create 90 million non-agricultural jobs in India. Now, where are these jobs going to come from? If, as I said, if every educated youth is looking for jobs, then who is going to be creating these jobs? This meme. When Parag Agarwal became the CEO of Twitter, this was a meme that was circulating on social media. It said, Padhega India, Tabi to Padhega America. For those of you who don't understand Hindi, it says, only when India gets educated will America develop. Right? And it has photographs of Parag, Agarwal, Sundar Pichai, Satya Nadella. And I think that this is a very telling meme. The reason it's telling is that it is very clear that Indians are very successful. Indians are very talented. Indians have the capacity to lead. That is why they are leading some of the largest international brands across the world. And this is just from the tech sector. We can go across all sectors and find that Indians are leading some of the biggest brands, biggest companies, are the CEOs of some of the biggest multinational corporations. And yet, when you have an Indian who is a CEO of a Twitter or a Google or a Chanel or a PepsiCo, the fact is that they do not contribute to the Indian economy, right? They are contributing to the economy maybe of Canada, maybe of the United States, maybe of France, maybe of Germany, maybe of the United Kingdom. They are creating jobs there. They are increasing the GDP there. But what is happening for our country, right? In our country, you still have 25,000 educated young people applying to be a post messenger for UP police, right? So how are we going to reconcile these two things? That on the one hand, you have very high unemployment figures in our country. Unemployment today is probably the biggest crisis that our country faces. But on the other hand, and since many of you, most of you are from the business sector, you would also know that every time you try to go out and hire people, you don't find competent, qualified, initiative-taking young people. So how do you reconcile these two facts as well? So somewhere I think what we need to realize is that the change is not just in terms of the economy. The change is not just in terms of incentives to businesses. Change actually has to begin here in our schools. That until we can change the mindset that we are giving children during their education system, we are not going to be able to solve these larger problems. If all educated youth of our country aspire just for a job, our, country, our economy is never going to develop. We are never going to be able to create employment. And so towards this end, we in Delhi government have started something called the Entrepreneurship Mindset Curriculum, which runs for students from grade 9 to grade 12. Here we are not teaching them skills of how to start a business. We are looking to change their mindset. We are looking to change their mindset that when they come out of this education system, they are going to be job creators and not merely job seekers. So as a part of this program of our entrepreneurship mindset curriculum, we have started something. Business Blasters. Delhi Sarkar ki pehel hai, jis mein wo Delhi ke sarkari schoolon mein bachcho ko shikha rahe hain, naukri dhoonne wala nahi, naukri dene wala banna. Delhi Sarkar ke schoolon ke teen lakh bachche, unke ikkawan hazar business ideas aur sarkar ki or se saath karo rupay ka seed kar. Ye hai dunya ka sabse bada startup program, Business Blasters. So we started something called the Business Blasters program, 
where every student of class 11 and 12 gets a small amount of seed money from the government and gets an opportunity to set up a startup of their own. So every child from grade 11 and 12 gets 2,000 rupees seed money and they can form groups of up to 10 students and create their own startup. So the government says we will give you the seed money, the risk is ours. So for example, if a group of children has 20,000 rupees and loses all of their money and does not make a single penny, they do not have to give any money back to the government. That money is theirs. So the risk is ours. But any profit that they make over and above the, the seed money that they get is theirs. So the students have the incentive for their business to flourish. And as this short video showed us, in the last one year, we have had 3 lakh students participate in this student startup program. They have set up 51,000 startups with their business ideas. And the Delhi government has invested 60 crores of seed money for these students. So these are some of the teams that have actually started their own businesses. And we'll I'll share some of these stories. But I think that the biggest change that has happened, why we buy these students participating in this startup program, is not just the profit they made, the investment they gathered, how they want to proceed with their businesses, but now the very same students who till a few years back would have thought that their aspiration is to find a good job, now feel confident that they can come out of their education system, find work for themselves, and give jobs to other, students, other young people. So in this Business Blasters program, as I said, that all students got this uh, seed money. And then through various layers of pitching events, 125 of them were selected for a Delhi government organized investment expo. And in this investment expo, we send out invitations to many people like you who are from businesses, who are investors from across the country. And independent investors came to that event. And in these 125 businesses have invested an amount of almost 10 crore rupees for these 125 student startups. Many of these student startups have now gone into incubators. Many of them have registered their own private limited companies and actually started functioning as businesses while some of them have not even passed out from school yet. So here is this group of young people who, have, who call their startup mystic dates. And they have actually created a caffeine-free substitute for coffee. And uh, they started with the seed money of 10,000 rupees. They made sales of over 2 lakh rupees. And they have got investment pledges of 17 lakh 50,000 rupees. One student startup. There's another student startup, these uh, two young girls who make Madhubani paintings. Uh, their products were bought by urban companies, the urban company founder, for their annual uh, New Year gifting to all their employees. They started with seed money of 2,000 rupees, did sales of more than 2 lakh rupees, and have got an investment commitment of 14 lakh 50,000 rupees. These are girls who are just passing out of class 12. And the other thing that I must tell you is that these students are not students who are coming from very wealthy backgrounds. These are not students who are coming from even very well educated backgrounds. These are students who are studying in Delhi government schools, often coming from middle class, lower class, lower middle class backgrounds. And for them, it is just this initiative when they've got their seed money in their hands, which has really opened out the whole world for them. I'm not saying that all of them will continue in their businesses, in these specific startups. But this Business Blasters program has given them, that they have now acquired that confidence that we can do it. We can also do it. You don't need to be from some very wealthy family. You don't need to be from some business family, very well-connected family. And the interesting thing is when you hear all of their stories, they say that when they started off, and especially for girls, their parents were very skeptical. They said, but 
and one of in fact one of these girls said a very interesting thing uh, the ones who had the madhubani painting starter he said ma'am pehle to sab bahut sawal puchte the par jab humne paise kamane shuru kar diye na फिर उसके बाद सबके मम्मी पापा के रिश्तेदारों के पड़ोसियों के सवाल खत्म हो गए दे सिर्फ हाँ बेटा आगे बढ़ो बिकॉज दे स्टार्टेड एक्चुअली फॉर द फॉर नॉट जस्ट दीज यंग स्टूडेंट बिगिन सपोर्टिंग दे एक्चुअली ग्रेड इलेवन ग्रेड ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स एक्चुअली बिगैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू देर होम्स बिकॉज दे वर अर्निंग मनी फ्रॉम देयर बिजनेस नॉट जस्ट दिस अ लॉट ऑफ दैम अक्वायर्ड वेर इन अ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस there was this one group of young people who set up a startup called speaker stars which was making low cost bluetooth speakers so at one of these pitching events one of the investors asked them that you are a group of five or seven people right now you do the marketing the manufacturing everything all of you do so why should so if i was to invest money in your company then i need to know how are you going to expand manufacturing because that is the only way that you can expand the business and he said that bhai tum panch saat log to nahi kar sakte <clears throat> so one girl who is studying in class 12 in a delhi government school her response was sir is saal jo iit delhi ka electrical engineering ka batch pass out ho raha hai hamara plan hai ki hum wahan se do engineers hire karenge aur wo sari hamari manufacturing ko supervise karenge for a 17 year old whose peers are busy preparing for the iit je exam for her to have the confidence that they have the ability and the finances to be able to hire two electrical engineers from delhi i think that is impressive in another such pitching event the ceo of one company the founder ceo of one company was present and he asked these group of students that i'll give you if i was to give you a choice to choose between mentorship or money what would you choose so one of the students replied she said that sir agar aap pe humse 6 mahine pehle puchte tab to humne koi business kiya nahi tha tab to hame aata nahi tha to 6 mahine pehle to hum mentorship choose karte lekin ab to hame money ki zarurat hai and so the students have acquired not just an understanding but also a confidence that they can do it this is a group of students who formed a started a startup called techup they created low cost pcs which for <clears throat> lower amounts of ram give efficient performance and they started this business because they felt that with a lot of education going online there was a lot of students who couldn't afford personal computers as they existed pcs at one third the cost that they're getting in the market they got a seed money they started with a seed money of 12000 made sales of 30000 rupees but their product was so good that they have been pledged an investment of almost 18 lakh rupees in the investment expo not just this the language of students changed so i was at, at this investment expo where i we had also gone while a lot of the investors were coming in so i asked this one group of students ki bhai tumhe kuch investment mila kya दिस एंड मैम हमें किसी ने दो लाख रुपए ऑफर तो किया है पर अभी हम सोच रहे हैं कि लेना है कि नहीं लेना आयासम वाई सर इसे नहीं थोड़ा सोच के डिसाइड करना पड़ेगा ना कि उनको कितनी एक्विटी देनी है उनके इन्वेस्टमेंट के लिए सो वी आर येट टू टेक अ डिसीजन ऑन वेदर वी वॉन्ट दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड हाउ मच एक्विटी वी हैव टू गिव दिस इज नॉट द लैंग्वेज दैट इज बींग स्पोकन बाई ग्रेड इलेवन एंड ग्रेड ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ डेली गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स So when we ask this question at the beginning, <laughs> that where are those 90 million jobs that India needs? Where are they going to come from? <clears throat> the answer is here: that these 90 million jobs are going to be created by these young students who are coming out of the education system with an entrepreneurial mindset, and they are the future of this country. Who are not going to, not just going to take this country forward. but they are the future of this country who is going to create the future for others thank you and if you get the chance you could visit our website this business blasters.in to actually have a closer look a lot of our students ventures are listed there and uh, i personally believe that these students these young entrepreneurs really are the future hope for this country and for taking our country forward thank you
Thank you so much.